What's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Jolin and I'm back with my son Lyric for another Varsity Eats. On this episode, we decided to slide up and get us some of that good old fashioned famous chicken. Now, if you've never heard of this spot, you might wanna ask Oprah herself cause she said this is one of her favorite chicken spots whenever she decided to get some fast food and get some good old fried chicken. Now, I've only tried this once back in Seattle, but I haven't tried it in a while, so I'm anxious to get in there and see what they got. So, whether you're a foodie, a fried chicken lover, or YouTube just dropped you on this video, make sure you stick around. We about to check out these Zell's chicken. Let's get it. Alright y'all, so we literally just ordered the food and before we could even sit down and kind of tell you a little bit of facts about the restaurant, the food was already ready. Literally it took them about two minutes from the time that we placed the order to the time that we got our food. Now, everything so far, we got the baked beans, we got the macaroni, we got the rolls, and we got the chicken. Everything so far looked kind of good. I even seen that they had some peach cobbler up there for the $5. I might have to slither through after I demolish some of this. Like I said, I haven't been here in a while. I don't really know what to expect, but based off of the looks and the smells, I'm real interested, so I ain't gonna take too much time. I'd rather dig into this food and holler back at y'all with a real review. Stay tuned, because we had these Zell's chicken. Let's get it. So I'm about halfway through the plate, and so far, so good. The macaroni, hitting. The beans, I didn't try yet. The roll, it tastes like one of the Hawaiian rolls that you get over at Winco, so you know that it's super soft, super fresh, and it's got a little bit of sweetness to it, so it tastes good. Um, the chicken, when I first looked at it, I ain't gonna lie, I didn't know what part of the chicken it was. They all kind of looked the same. We decided to go with a half and half. We got half regular, half spicy. I decided to roll with the spicy. It's not too, too hot. Matter of fact, I'm about to go ask and see if they got some hot sauce to throw up on here because I'll probably end up taking another piece of chicken because it's hitting, you feel me? And I haven't ate nothing all day. But so far, like I said, so good. The little man is actually eating it. Y'all know sometimes he don't really rock with the food, so he won't eat it. But this time, he, he you see, he knocking it back. He got a little bit of beans. He don't really mess with macaroni, so we didn't put none on his plate. But the chicken is getting demolished. My plate is getting demolished. I'm trying to get back to it, so I'm about to get out of here. So make sure y'all stay tuned because we're about to get out of here and wrap it up, you feel me? So stay tuned. We had these else chicken. Let's get it. Alright y'all, so we came, we saw, and we tried some of Ezel's famous chicken, and all in all, I would definitely say it was pretty good. The service was real fast, the food tastes real, real fresh, and the sides was hitting like Rocky. So I'll definitely be back, and I highly recommend, if you're ever in Washington Square, make sure y'all pull up and show Ezel's chicken some love, and let me know if you already tried it in the comment section, and let me know what your favorite fried chicken spot is, and if I should pull up. I didn't get, even get to tell y'all the price for everything that we bought today, it was about $28. $8. So not too expensive. We got an eight piece. It fed all of us. I'm full and we even got some to go. So I'm about to get out of here. So until next time, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Make sure y'all hit that like button. And until next time, you already know what it is and you know who it is. It's Jolin. It's Lyric. It's R-City. Peace.